Hello, Kingdom Citizens, and I just wanted to share with you what I just <laughs> found out, right? And it comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 24, verse 20. When thou beatest thine olive tree, thou shalt not go over the bows again. It shall be for the stranger for the fatherless and for the widow. So what that passage of scripture is saying is that don't strip the olive, olive tree dry. When you beat the olive tree, don't go over the bows again. Don't don't take all of it for yourself. What's left? What's left? I want you to reserve for the stranger first. For the fatherless second. And for the widow third. In that priority. And it's mentioned again and again throughout scripture in those priorities. But I want to take a look at those words, stranger, fatherless, widow. Stranger, fatherless, widow. Perhaps when we think of stranger, perhaps we think of people coming across the border any border into another country strangers strangers perhaps when we think of fatherless we think of those that perhaps don't have an earthly father they don't they don't know where he is and when we think of widows we think of those like my dear friend who passed away he had a wife what do you think of those people whose husbands have passed away wives whose husbands have passed away and perhaps that's our definition our limited definition of stranger fatherless and widow. However, there's a reason why God put those words in the Bible. And there's also a reason why. He is the only answer to the stranger, the fatherless and the widow. Number one, the stranger. Because the stranger does not have Jesus as king, he or she is not recognized in the citizenship in the kingdom of heaven. They are strangers alienated from God in their minds, the word said. Strangers. Number two, the fatherless. Because those who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, who do not have Jesus Christ as the everlasting father, they are as good as fatherless. And the widow, number three, because they do not have Jesus Christ as their husbandman, as the one who provides for them, they are twice as destitute as the widow. For if the stranger 
if the fatherless and if the widow have Jesus Christ, <laughs> they have their king, they have their everlasting father, and they have their husbandmen. They have everything they need to no longer be called a stranger. To no longer be called fatherless. To no longer be called a widow. All because of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God loves you. And God smiles when he sees you.